Welcome to this conducting tutorial where I'll demonstrate conducting hymn number eight, Awake and Arise. This is one of those in the first part of the hymn book, which these are all hymns of the restoration. Uh, so beautiful hymns to be singing. Um, the mood is brightly and definitely want to have nice sharp, bright movements as you're conducting. The speed is 104 to 126 beats a minute, so you're going to have quite a fast pace conducting. Um, and the speed, uh, the time signature is 4-4, four, four, so you can have 1, 2, 3, 4. It does have an upbeat, so prepare your beat will take you to the side, and then you'll do 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the only thing to take note of is that um, if you look at most of the bars, you'll have um, the first note is a hollow note with a line, and then two solid no uh, notes with lines. So that hollow note with a line counts for two beats, and then the others are one beat each. So you need to do two movements while we're singing one note. So just tell me you want to practice. If you aren't very familiar with the hymn, you might feel like you need to wait until you actually sing again before you do your next movement. So um, like just that first phrase would be your upbeat, awake and arise. So wake, you do two movements, and then it's and a rise for the next um, bar. And then it's rise, again, two movements, O ye slumbering nations. So you've got this rhythm the whole time um, through most of the hymn where you're doing two movements and then you carry on. So just make sure you're comfortable with that, otherwise, you, you might get a little bit stuck. But otherwise, nothing else uh, to be too concerned about. So just practice it a couple times, you should feel comfortable, and then you can just enjoy singing. Mm -hmm. 